What is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're taking on career mode once again. This time, for the Austrian Grand Prix. We have a sprint race and a feature race to get through. So let's waste... No. no. Without further ado, we're 72 driver rating. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Quick update of the standings. We dropped a couple of places after a not-so-ideal last race. What happened? It was Spain, and we had no pace. It looks like we've had a Braun GP 2009 start on our hands, and uh, now the regs are shafting us, and everyone's catching up. 666. Let's hope it means good luck for us today. The front wing flat profile, that failed in the last episode, so that's great. I'll have to redo that. Can't do rear downforce. Both of those, by the way, on the downforce side are major upgrades, as is this. So once we, we can, like, get the flow of resource points going and, and these upgrades on, it'll change our season so much if we can get them going. I just hope that Bottas does the right upgrades at the moment. I have no idea what he's targeting, but please, let's go for performance, mate. We're, like, second last, third to last. Let's go for the front downforce for the Hungarian Grand Prix. That'll be a, a key upgrade to, uh, to get in. So we'll go for that, and we'll hope that Bottas doesn't cheap out and go for something crap. We need these major upgrades to start flowing in. Fast forward time, Austrian right, Grand Prix. I'm to say that we've had a major issue on the production line earlier this week, and the entire development package for the weekend has failed. It already failed. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's have a look then. This is a stacked weekend. Not much practice sessions going on. A couple of teams move and shake. Let's have a look on the actual performance index. Haas pull away. Aston Martin getting upgrades. And that's about it. I think Alpine probably... No, not Alpine. Williams overtook us. To be honest, I knew a lot wasn't going to change in that respect because there was such a short window between the last race and this one. No weather, full dry weekend. But what I want to do is I want to change the qualifying format to short qualifying because we're doing two days worth of qualifying and long qualifying takes forever. So today, just one session each. And I think it'll make the video flow a lot nicer. Anyway, practice time. Uh, boom. 576 overall. I don't think there's anything we can buy. We'll have a double check because every day matters in Formula 1. If we can get up, get an upgrade going a day earlier, you never know. That might come on a round earlier. ERS. See, see what I mean? If we do it today, it comes on just before we head to the track for Thursday or Friday of the uh, Hungarian Grand Prix. If we waited till even, like, tomorrow, that wouldn't go on. Every... No! I didn't mean to do that. I didn't want to. I was trying to press back. <laughs> All right, let's go to sprint qualifying for the Austrian Grand Prix. Quick scratch of the nose. Let's get into it. High up in the mountains here at Spielberg, it's time for qualifying on what will be the fastest laps of the season. Stand by for qualifying at the Austrian Grand Prix. Huge. Get me in that car. Let's go on mediums. Here we go. Wow, those service temps are cold on the straight. What do they get to in the corners? I never look at service temps, so this is this is a new like ball game for me. Okay, I'm afraid we've pushed down to P sixty. P ten! We go again. I was probably more focused on tire temps than actually driving there. But I'm gonna crack on for another lap. Remembering, of course, we can't use overtake. Ah, oh, you bastards. I wonder, because because we suck with aero, maybe I could crank on some more front wing and get away with it. 104.4. That's not bad. These tyres are usable. Uh, Sergio Perez is in the mud. Again, a second off at Austria. Is this guy mad? i got a set of soft still to use, so let's go out now. And let's use those. Hello. Hello! We're all getting very friendly here. Hurry up, though. Hurry up! Oh, just gonna hold me up on. Just go, just go. I knew exactly what was gonna happen there if I went ahead of Verstappen. He then tried to overtake me on my lap and ruin it. Away we go. Soft compound tyres. I, I think we gotta find like uh, maybe a three or four tenth improvement with these tyres. If we don't, we've underutilized them. Yeah, look at those surface temps going up. Whoa. Well, 
starts qualifying for the sprint anyway. We qualified really well on the mediums. How have we got top 10 on mediums? That's insane. So we're going to start the sprint from P9. Three tenth improvement would have got me uh, P4. <laughs> what? Oh, Bottas. What's going on there, son? Look, we always go really well around Austria. Well, we're proving it once again. That is insane. Much better pace than what we saw in Spain. Time for the race. So it's all about speed in today's sprint. Not very many laps and no chance to get ahead on strategy. Who here today has the raw skill to take them to the top? By the way, I haven't heard Mark speak to me before the race since about round two. What's going on there? Anyway, welcome to the sprint. Uh, looks like mediums is the tire of choice. Let's pop over to the setup and let's uh, whack these tire pressures all the way back up. I'm quite reluctant to want to run full pressures on this game, but I, I think it might be the meta. No real strategy, just full sends. Our pace is really good as we saw from qualifying. So we're going to send it and uh, hopefully come away. I, I really see this as bonus points. Getting, getting points in the sprint is bonus points to me. Let's earn our bonus. All right, let's see if we can do something with this car. Off we go for the sprint. Oh, that was dangerous, but I wanted to cover it off. On the outside. Oh, I'm in the middle of a couple of cars here, trying not to run into the back of them. Get the drive traction on the Ferrari. I have a lot of downforce, so I'm going to be pretty slow on the straights. Quick in the corners. Let's just see if we can stay with. We are still in our starting position. Of course, only the top eight get points in the sprint from 110 AI. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm getting forced out. George Russell just making life very awkward for us in the last two corners. Had to leave space. Okay, he's just made a mistake. Well, I'm glad that we squabbled and lost the top guys for no reason, mate. Where am I going? Come on, i got to get it together. We have better pace than this. Retirement. Please be someone ahead. Please some... Ah, uh, someone behind. It's someone behind. Albon's out. I'm uh, in no man's land here. If I want to get points, i got to do this on my own. No one to help me with DRS. The leaders appear to be squabbling. Come on! Oh. Ferrari? Ferrari? Yes! Okay, red flag, mate. Red flag. No overtaking, please. We'll see you in the pit lane. We got away with that. As long as we didn't get a penalty, because we did get a, a brief warning for illegal overtake, but it got taken away because... The Merc was going oh, too to slow. But red flag, we're now going to rejoin in P7 and without a penalty. If not, we've been shafted. Yes! All right, let's go. Ah, uh, the Ferrari's still there. Uh, the point of the red flag is to clear out the stranded car. All right, what's going to happen when we get to the third sector then? What's going to happen here then? What? Going defensive. Can I get Sergio? I probably could if I wanted to risk it. I'll follow in behind. Okay, clear. Bro, just got left for dead there. But what's going to happen up here? Are they ghosted? Are they solid? Are we going to have to drive around them like a chicane? Here goes nothing. Where are they? I think they cleared up the car. Bro, they left that to the last minute to clear that. So distracting. I nearly lost DRS because of it. I have lost DRS. Ocon's quick. Ocon is absolutely flying. Please, please no. We don't need to squabble into a high speed corner. You're asking to throw away time by doing that, mate. Well, DRS is lost. Now we can start squabbling. Now, now we can swap positions. At low speed corners, i go for it. High speed, no, no. Now I'll let him go. Tell you what, these guys are rapid in the race. Qualifying, we had pace to burn, but now we don't even have pace in the areas that we should be quick at. We're not even quicker in the corners, and we've definitely got more downforce than these guys. Bro, this is how this race is going to be then. Fighting for my life to get one point. 
And he sent it. Not fully, though. Still P8. Four laps to go. I need Ocon here. Like, Ocon is keeping me in the game here. If I didn't have Slipstream and DRS, I'd be a sitting duck. I'm just trying to run the best race I can. These guys are so quick, it's mad. I th yeah, I think it's lighter. I just, it feels like their cars are more agile than mine. Not ideal. Here he comes. I'm going to have to go into overtake to defend. <laughs> I'm, not even, I'm not even using overtake for its purpose. We're using overtake just simply to hold position. How depressing is that? I need to start positioning myself to be ahead of Ocon, really. Because I want two points. But if I go too early, I'll get swamped by everyone. Coming on to the last up now. It's time to get serious. Give it everything to try and get this spot back. Clean exit through turn one. Let's make sure we get DRS for this straight. I'm going to hold back. I've got DRS and I've got the move done. Drag race now. There we go. There's the DRS for us. Get a bit of a side toe. Let's punch it away. This is about as good as we could have asked for, to be honest. Didn't get a good restart after the red flag, but two points. That's not, that's not nothing. That's not nothing. Okay, very nice. But two points in the sprint. Pace obviously needs to be a lot better. Um, I think for the main race, I'll probably I'll take some front wing out. Um, and, then, and then hope that we can get a, a leg up on the AI strategy wise because... Um, yeah, we're just we're just lacking about two a quarter of a second. We uh yeah, we, we struggled that race. Alright, so what do we want here? Qualifying, I think again, somewhere near the top ten. We were very quick in the last quality session, so maybe even a top five? Only soft compound tires for this session. Lovely stuff. Let's go out and do a banker. I've just realized I've left my tire pressures on uh, maximum. So this lap probably won't be very good. Oh, I nearly oversteered out of track limits there. That's what happened in sprint qualifying. Oh, yoy, yoy. Okay, we keep it, but it's not going to be quick. David Hamilton. I'm going to push for a second lap because the first one wasn't ideal. Please get more in the way. Here we go. New tyres, proper tyre pressures, rub it in track. Bring on the top five. Purple, no back end loss that time. Huge. Oh my word. Four, ten, five, five tenths fastest. I'm, I, I, I got distracted. I was supposed to do another lap. I was supposed to do another lap. I've just bottled it. P1 with no hot lap. I mean, no overtake. <laughs> Alonso must be fuming. 104 dead. And he's not in provisional pole right now. Insanity. I will struggle to beat this lap, I think. <laughs> All right, that's it. I, I tried, um, I wanted to try like flooring the throttle a bit more. AI will go out again and they will be pretty quick on their last run. 1.1 seconds quicker than Bottas. I have no explanation. I, it, when, when we get to the race, we're going to get humbled, but right now we're flying. We don't need the softs for the for the race. We may as well send this. I can now afford to back up the staff in a little bit because I'm quicker. We're either going to turn along or we're going to pull away. Let's go. Last lap. Very good run through there. Am I up? Just, just, but Verstappen's going quicker than I am. No. No, that's it. That's it. I've towed Verstappen along. He might beat me here. Or will he? I don't think he did. My, 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 whatever lap. My, my best lap was peak performance. We were going marginally quicker there, but I think that was more down to track evolution. That first lap that we laid down was incredible. We are now going to be humbled in the race. It's going to be a case of 
fighting to stay in the top 10. This is it then, race day in Spielberg for this year's Austrian Grand Prix. Not long to go before our drivers hurtle off the line and into the first turn, the Nicky Lauda curve. It was renamed in 2019 in memory of one of Formula One's most beloved figures. The Spielberg circuit then is situated 700 metres above sea level, with just 10 corners making up one of the shortest laps of the season. One time around here is a distance of around 2.6 miles, with the best overtaking chances into turn one or the tight uphill of turn three. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Fernando Alonso lines up on pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Perez, Benjamin, Sainz. No penalties. Oscar Pia All right, then. This is the part of the weekend I'm most looking forward to. The Grand Prix, the part where strategy actually matters. And it tends to be a bit more chaos as well with uh, varying elements of, uh, I guess, tires for people. We often see some pretty, pretty big uh, incidents for the AI when they decide to box. We'll see if that is also a thing today. One medium, one hard, one soft. So I think medium hard is is the play. We'll be in the same boat as the AI, no matter what happens. And we are gonna take some fuel out. All right, let's send it. I wanna stay with the lead DRS train. That is the most important thing. Not so much track position. Clean start, I think. Whoa, contact on the inside. Norris just gave me the racing line. I couldn't believe it. And he does the same again. I will happily take the outsides every time through the first couple of corners of Austria. I'm going to turn off the battery. I'm going to let him have me. Make sure we don't squabble too much. Oh my God. See you later, mate. Norris messed up every corner. Every corner. These guys are squabbling. This is per three wides. This is perfect for us. Maybe they're coded to battle more in the main race. That's why there's always more chaos. If they keep this up, we can 100% get dragged along to a better result today. There are three DRS zones within a 70 second time frame. That if you're playing it smart and tagging along to the leaders and using your battery strategically, you can stay with much quicker cars, which is what I plan to do to get a much better result than what I should on paper. While, the, while everyone behind does their low IQ racing, I'm gonna do everything to stay with the leaders and get some big points. Locking down that top five. Verstappen in the mines. What's with the mistakes? He's just gone straight on. I hit the back of Sergio Perez. I think it might have damage. I'm not sure. Bruh! I've just, I've just, I've hit him again. Why have I hit him again? I'm an idiot. What? Wait, I didn't have control then. Oh, this is not ideal because what if there's another red flag? Like this is, this is very short in the race. Like very early on in the race. We only have limited tires. I could go hard, but that would leave me very short on tires at the end. I think we have to go with new tires and just see this out to the end now. And then we'll deal with the red flag situation if it happens again. But there must have been some other crash, as well as Verstappen, which caused the red flag. Mental weekend so far. Right, let's make the best Here we go. The leaders did not get away well. I'm leading! We lead the Austrian Grand Prix, let's go! I think one of the McLarens got a great start, but they couldn't go anywhere. Oh, here comes Alonso. That's the first time I've been dive-bombed on this game. Wait, an AI. If I actually want to get a podium here, me leading is not a good thing. I need someone else to go in front because I don't, I don't, I don't have the pace to lead. I don't have the pace to pull away. I'll be ready for when Alonso wants to take me. Not, not turn one. Turn one's another good place to overtake me. Into here, into turn four. That's also good. Yeah, I'm not going to put up the fight. Me being second is good for my race. 
I, honestly, I feel really comfortable on the hearts. Like, I'm putting Alonso under a bit of pressure here. Look at that, he's having to go defensive. I guess I'll overtake him. Where's the RS share? Uh, we pulled eight tenths on Alonso. Are they squabbling already? I should not be pulling away. Has he got a problem? Ah. Damn it. We are driving well, though. Let him go. Where are you going? Why did you take me with you? I'm not in the lead anymore. This is Perez's lucky day. End of the lap. We've had 2% tire wear this lap. And we have 16 laps to go. 32%. So we'll be on 42% rear tires by the end on current projections. Okay, we'll be fine. These tires will be fine to the end. As long as things stay as they are. I'm letting them squabble. I'm saving battery. I'm waiting for my moment. Science takes the lead. We want to start pulling away, lads. We want to guarantee we get uh, the front all to ourselves, really. Maybe I'll take the initiative and, and show you how it's done, yeah? Scrolling for the sake of scrolling there. Three wide! And Piastri somehow comes out on top. Let's help out our fellow countrymen, shall we? There's a small part of me that wonders if it's worth using everything to try and get away so that the car in P2 doesn't have DRS. Because they don't have DRS, they get overtaken easy and start squabbling. That could allow me to run away. It's not going to happen now, so I'll go back into battery saving modes. Keep on it. You might make a mistake. You're not wrong. The amount of mistakes we've seen today has been mad. I could decide to be the uh, Australian Minister of Defence for Pat Piastri if I want to be. I'm definitely holding on easier than when I was in the sprint. I was getting attacked by Russell. Further back in the pack. Right here, I'm at the front and I'm comfortable. He says. Getting attacked by Ferrari. Force him to go defensive. Compromised exit. This could be the time to set up a move. Yeah, we'll go for it. We'll go for it. Let's have a battle. I'll let him go. But we want to remind Piastri that we are here and we will attack if he starts chilling. Maybe those two or three tents that we need. Because that's that's the amount of time we were lacking before. Don't have much fuel on boards. Less weight. Might be the reason why we're in the game so much. I'm feeling good. I'm happy. Okay. The last thing we want is a safety car or a red flag. I don't want to go on to mediums. I'm happy on the hards. Don't let that be a safety car or a red... Don't be a red flag. Ferrari's out. Engine failure. The game wants me to overtake the Astri. I'm now in a McLaren sandwich. The amount of contenders that have changed throughout this weekend is nuts. What happened to the Red Bulls? What happened to the Astons? What happened to the Ferraris? The McLarens were kind of nowhere. Now they're looking at a 1-2. We're six seconds clear. Stroll <laughs> is ahead of both the Red Bulls. Okay, okay. Let's just pass Piastri for the objective. Oh, great stuff. You hit that target. Really good job. He gets back ahead of me for the detection point. And then I take the lead back with DRS. See you later, son. 16 to go. Oh, yeah, Perez up to P4. If there's any pace in that Red Bull, and there certainly is, he might drag the whole train of midfield cars with him. Now, I wouldn't mind leading for a little bit just to burn down my fuel. When you're the lead car, you eat more fuel. So I'm actually doing this for performance for a little bit. He can get me now if he wants. Not the other McLaren though, that would not be ideal. DRS. Battery. Back into the lead. Thank you very much. Wow, he's giving it to me again. I've got DRS. <laughs> I'm just lifting and coasting a little bit to look after everything. And then we get the he gets the position back for the worst possible point around the circuit, which gives us DRS to keep the leads. Insane. That sh <laughs> so close to a warning. I don't like that.
get DRS again. He keeps giving me the outside. That's where all the traction is. I think Perez is battling with Stroll. Yeah, look at that. That's why Perez can't make any inroads. At this point now, we will be unhappy with anything less than a podium. I gotta look after my tires. So, and also battery as well, to be fair, to make sure we've got some firepower for the ends. Battle. We nearly have a second. I probably should have pushed the point there on that straight. If I break the RS, those two would have started squabbling. One second. There it is. One second. I'm going to go for it. And now I think this is the straight where he doesn't have DRS. I've just got to keep him out for this straight. Burn him. Oh, no. No. That was my ch What's happened down here? I made a major mistake. Piastri makes a mistake. That's huge. We've doubled the advantage. Because Piastri makes a mistake and Morris goes through. We're out of battery and they're squabbling now. But now it's going to be the true test. Can we run away from the entire field here in Austria? I'm going to try and pull away without burning battery. They could use all their battery to catch up to me. But then they'll get to me and they won't be able to have any firepower. We're getting towards the end of the race where battery matters. Even if we can't pull away, we can turn this into a strategical advantage. But I need to keep pushing. No more of that, please. I don't know how many warnings I've got. What? What? Okay, mate. We've got loads of ERS in reserve, so let's have a big push and use it all up. Why? There's a reason why I built it up, you idiot. Yes, let's piss away all the advantage we built up. I've lost the warning. I've lost my margin. I'm about to lose the ERS advantage. And they're going to have DRS on me. Is there anything else that wants to go wrong? This game is making me throw. Guess I need to burn just to keep him out of bat out of the uh, DRS range. Yes, mate. We hit the target. Nice work. I hope you're happy. If I lose now, I'm blaming you. I'm losing the car a lot now which I don't like. I have no margin to play with, no battery to play with. Things were so comfortable just a couple laps ago. Now, muds, three to go. Yep, they've arrived now, they're here. But they're here to stay and I've got no battery. I'm, I'm just praying that the AI are on a, on a massive battery push and that they're gonna have nothing left in the last couple of laps. This is for the lead of the race, by the way. It's panic stations. Oh, I'm gonna save through here. Save, save, save. Tires nearing 50%. Not good. Seconds. Morris gets DRS. Bad run through turn one though. Oh, gas three. Yes, hello. And into P2. Come on. Let's make this an Aussie one too. I didn't think about the fuel. Oh my word, is there anything else want to go wrong? I think we I think we'll just about be okay with fuel. Just. All right, we want Piastri to get us here. Here we go. Oh, he's squeezing me more than normal. He's getting the elbows out. The AI are racing different now. Overtake, hot lap. Back into the lead. The McLarens have stepped it up a level. We're still pulling away from everyone else in the field. Gap's now 11 seconds. These guys are just amazing on their tires compared to us. Just like we see in real life. Last lap of the Grand Prix, it all comes down to this. Final lap of the race. Here we go. Oh, we get the RS. I would like Pri Piastri to get me again. Oh no. Shit. No, 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 no. No DRS for us. Horrible exit. I'm not sure if they have battery left. We hold on. No more DRS until the last straight. We have been in control today, but <laughs> the McLarens have really kept us honest. They've taken off the sandbags and given it everything and nearly toppled us in this Austrian Grand Prix. Everyone made mistakes today, but us. Another win. <laughs> Let's go. That one was absolutely insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. You always look back at a race like this and think, if I had just made that mistake there or locked up here, there would have been contact. And every one of those overtakes is a moment 
where you have to absolutely nail it, perfect <laughs> it, and that's exactly what they're able to do today. Great oh stuff. Oh my indeed. god. How did we win that race? Yeah, they definitely had the race pace on us. Our race pace, by the way, was a lot better today uh, in, in the main race. Um, sprint race, we were kind of nowhere, but we really lifted our game. At least there, we're kind of comparable. 106.5 versus 106.3, 106.2. Um, I think we were at least half a second off the fastest laps. Let's have a look at the driver's standings. Uh, oh, back up in a second. What a seesaw for P second, P2 this is. Though, yeah, we're still P6. It's not much in it though, between us, Aston Martin and Mercedes. Anyway, <laughs> I've just got my invite for Creator Series. So whenever you're watching this, I did this literally right before the Creator Series Mystery Grand Prix. Let's uh, advance time <laughs> and uh, let's let's end off this this race because I gotta go do other things. We beat uh, Leclerc in the rivalry, absolutely huge. Surely 73 rated after that win. We might even get a secret meeting. Come on, seven, nearly 74 rated. That's how crucial that win was. No secret meeting, but we do head to the British Grand Prix next, and that is a race that I always look forward to attending as well let's uh open our mail from codemasters and we'll end off this episode and i don't know what to expect next last episode we were in the muds spain we were outside the points today pace incredible i don't know what to expect next time but that is the beauty of career mode thank you so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you guys next time for another <laughs> weird and wacky race